from Advanced Therapy Solutions. Today we're doing a wrist and thumb spiker to treat the Quir veins. Okay, so we're doing a wrist and thumb spiker today. Uh, this would be a splint that you would use, so it's a volar wrist splint basically, but with a thumb component included. You'd use this for things like the Quir veins, base of thumb arthritis, um, metacarpal fractures, um, they would be the main ones that I can think of now. We're taking a normal outline, okay, just like we did with the thumb hole wrist orthosis. Similar, again, we need our distal palmar crease, which forms the distal edge of our splint. Um, a slight difference on this one, though, we need the thumb IP joint, okay, so the thumb IP joint. You can take your hand away. Okay, so we just draw a straight line across our distal palmar crease, okay, similar to our thumb hole. Slight difference, though, we draw a straight line across our IP joint. We join the two with a little tab. Now, I like to extrapolate on the right on the radial side a little bit more and keep that consistent the whole way. Don't bring it too narrow at the wrist, okay? We end up with, with a, that'll affect the stability of our splint. On the ulna side, we do exactly the same as we've done with our thumb hole, keeping it pretty consistent, two to three centimeters of extra width. You can see we have a lot more thermoplastic on our radial side, which gives us nice circumferential um, support, which is what we're after. You can see that this plastic is heavier. This is the Orford Colors, Orford Colors product. Um, it is denser than water, so therefore it sinks into the water. You find it probably heats through a little quicker. Um, it's thinner, but also that it sinks to the bottom. We're just putting this back in the water to heat up for the last time. While that's heating up, we're gonna set up our patient. Okay, so again, we just want the elbow resting on the table. Okay, the wrist in 20 to 30 degrees of extension. In this one, we want the thumb uh, slightly abducted and opposed uh, so that um, we can get that nice position. So that's the position we want the thumb in. Okay, we want the person to be able to oppose in the splint if they want to. Okay, if you had uh, an ulnar collateral ligament injury, you wouldn't want that because you don't want the patient pinching. You'd position their thumb out here somewhere. Okay, but for this one, we want our thumb in a functional position. Our thermoplastic should be ready now. Okay. So we're just taking our thermoplastic out of the water. Drying it off. This one's going on a right hand. Okay, so we're just going to fold our distal edge, our distal palm crease. Okay. Ready to put it on our patient. So we're aligning, making sure it's in line with our distal palmar crease. Okay. Aligning the thumb piece, and then we secure it by bringing the tab around. Okay. Our tab comes around. Okay, splint secured. We're using the stretch in the material. Okay. Now just be mindful of your patient radially deviating. Okay, so bringing them back into that slight ulnar deviation is much more comfortable position. You can even get them to a pose with a nice big O at the time that the splint's cooling. I like to just hold them in that opposed position. So we're just finishing off by putting our straps on. We're going to heat the thermoplastic, heat the Velcro, and bond the two together. 
just be mindful we're using all for colors here so um, it does have a non-stick coating on it which means that our straps don't stick to it quite as well as they do with the Orphi Light. Just doing our final fitting on the patient. Okay. So thumb in first. Should still be fitting well. And pressing it against the hand, making sure that it's sitting down in the distal, distal palm crease. We want it to be proximal so that our patient can bend their fingers. Our distal strap. Again, we can see it's contouring nicely. Our wrist strap also contouring nicely. Just need to cut a bit of the length down. And finally, our proximal strap. Okay, doesn't need to be too tight. And that's our finished product. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, we'll see you next time.